Hey, what's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Steven Davidson here in a shave video. I've got three days worth of beard growth, so let's get started. Going with my usual suspect, the Omega 10049 Professional Board, the Soap Killer. Going with my uh, mustache trimmer. The Twig Sculptor, you can find it at leafshave.com. I don't know if they sell it by itself yet or not. And I can't wait for them to get the metal version of it. I'm also going to be going with my Gold Dollar 207. Jane Head Edge. More on these in a bit. And the star of today's party... Sterling Soap Company's Mountain Man. And the scent on this is incredible. It's inspired by Creed's Silver Mountain Water Cologne. Now, unlike Creed, this is affordable. Uh, Creed's uh, colognes and aftershaves, and they're not affordable. Triple digits easy on a, just a ball, aftershave ball. And I think the bottle of cologne's like $435, something like that, give or take. I'd have to look it up to be sure. And I'm going to finish it off with an old barbershop classic. Club Man original. Alright, so let's whip the face. Just get out of the shower so everything's nice and hydrated. Very invigorating shower too, I might add. All right, it's going to be good. Boys, this is going to be good. Uh, beard's been itching all evening yesterday. Pour off the bloom water. Time to load it up. Hope everybody had a real good weekend. I had a decent one. As far as physical and being able to relax and everything was concerned. An uh, update on my aunt. According to the discharge nurse, when she was discharged yesterday, she had a mini stroke. And uh, they put her on several medications, uh, whatnot, and she's just going to have to change her habits now because they also diagnosed her as being a diabetic, and she's got a touch of bronchitis. So they give her an antibiotic for that. They've got her on Eliquist, a blood thinner. And they put her on metformin for her diabetes. So, she's going to have to change her eating habits real quick. And I don't see it happening. And she just acting like her mom straight up down was. When it came to medical, when it comes to medical, my dad, my mom, my, uh, my dad, my aunt, and my late grandmother Stubborn wasn't the word for it. Mm. Man, this smells so good. My right, next shave is probably going to be with Strike Gold Shaves product, uh, specifically the soap, because I don't know how that age is going to turn out on that one for sure, but I'll tell you this much I'm getting motivated again to get back into straight. Thanks to my buddy Eric Latta. Uh, Mike Baker's been doing a ton of videos. And I watched my buddy Keith Johnson uh, do a lapping video with sick powder yesterday, which was really cool. It tripped me out to see, even after he rinsed it off twice, under running water, rubbed it down with his fingers and everything, he took a pepper towel to it, and that sick powder was still there after the, after the fact. Wow, and he still had to wash it twice with this soap, the uh, used diamond plate. 
So that tripped me out right there. Uh, yogurt, anyone? Look at that. Wow. I'm also motivated to get uh, the Naniwa Synthetic 12K Stone. Those edges seem perfect for me, and I don't know how good this one's going to do either. I just took it off the stones. All right. Heat up the old mustache trimmer, the twig sculptor, and get the mustache area. Got a feather blade in here, and I think it's either the fourth or fifth shave on it. Not really sure. Because I used it one day off camera. Sideburns a little bit. Sideburns a little bit over here. And there we go. I'll probably get that, uh, I'll probably go on a bench and get that, uh, get up to 207 and get that this summer. Not real sure yet. Get my ILR, that ain't good enough. Son of a biscuit eater. ILR. Be good enough to get me through the shape of that. <sighs> this is very annoying. Not ready.
Let me pause this. I'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Stand by. Okay, I'm back. Let's try this again. Support the face. All right. Since I done prepped my beard unwillingly, but even before I got into the shower and everything like that, and afterwards, paint the fence. But mustache area again. Okay, now, I ended up going back to my 8K, uh, Snow White 8K, and then hitting my ILR uh, again, but, uh, using Dr. Matt's method, and get this puppy up to snuff, and she should be right on the money. There she is. And that puppy slicing hair is clean off. That's not very comfortable. So this coming payday, yours truly. Is getting an Naniwa 12K stone. Synthetic Naniwa 12K stone. First pass, let's rinse and see what we got. We were going to have to hit the fire hose drop and the ILR again. So. Yeah, definitely going to have to hit that fire hose drop. So let me pause this. And try this again. Stand by. Okay, I'm back. I'm pretty close, so let's go with a money pass. Work the face again. The things I do for a straight razor shave. Alrighty. Try the old hand. 
ends here. Now, let's paint the fence. Well, kids. Let's don't, let's reroute the brush. All this mess is done to the dry out. better much 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 better Heat up the twig sculptor. Money pass. Let's see what happens. Money pass.
Corazzo Stipic Gel. Call it close shave, baby. Let's right now see what we got. Definitely gonna need a third pass, though. Yeah, at least half pass, at least. Now a full third pass. I'm going to click where I need to go. Still patchy too. <clears throat> All right, paint the fence. Now, new guys, if you don't do the against the grain pass like I just did, or if you don't feel comfortable doing it, then don't do it. You'll do this next pass, or you can repeat your with the grain north to south pass several times till you get where you want. That helps a lot. That's the way I got through my first uh, three pass shave. I went from uh, north to south. Uh, three times until I got comfortable with it and whatnot, and then boom, twig sculptor. Okay, now a cross grain.
Now when I'm coming over this way, I'm using my right hand. I'm using the opposite hand. And now I'm going to switch back to my left. Stretch your skin, guys. It's important. Beautiful. Got my chin a little bit. Oops. So before I finish that, put my parasso styptic gel on. Now, stretching that skin again. Oh, I forgot while well, I was thinking about it. While well, I got caught up in the edges and whatnot. Let me go try to get a couple more straight razors. Two, and get back into it a little bit. And, uh, I'm going to hit up uh, and see if I can get me a Naniwa 12K stone. So. Uh, that seems to be the best stone for me, skin wise, other than the conical. Unfortunately, though, the conical's not sharp enough. Okay, let's rinse off. First, the hot. Get that over the cold. Oh, I'm squeaky clean right there. Even my trouble spots got a good wow. You hit right in here a little bit. Mm, got an eyelash in my. Tiny spot, and that'll do it, my friends.
leftover spot. Got a serious editing job to do on this one. Mm. And the hot water rinse. Now the cold water rinse. Oh. Alan Blount. Try something here real quick. Okay, let's see what we got here. It's gonna stain like crazy. <clears throat> Not bad in some spots. Okay, so, Club Man Nick Relief, see if that works too. Stick the pencil. That seems to help as well. Overkill. And by tomorrow, you probably won't even know what's there. All right. While my alum and styptic does its thing, let's recap. Let's head up a little bit. Rinsing my brush out. Okay, we went with the Omega 10049 Professional Bore, the Soap Killer. I uh, used the uh, Twig Sculptor, which you can find at leafshave.com. Uh, I don't know if I sell them separate or not with a feather blade, fourth or fifth shave one for my mustache area, three passes. 
I went with my gold dollar 207. I ended up having to rehone it during the shave, so hence the editing job. And the star of today's party was Sterling Soap's Mountain Man, which is a Creed, they're a version of Creed Silver Mountain Water Cologne. And unlike Creed's products, these are affordable. And I'm about to finish it off with good old Panod's Club Band. So let me get a cold water rinse in now that my styptic's already taken care of. Love the cold water rinse. Oh. I'm squeaky clean, ladies and gentlemen. Now for the ultimate burn. The club man shake it up a little bit. Burning good too. And that'll do it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Take care and God bless. See you Thursday. Later.